Hi, my name is Glenda Meyer and I'm the preferred lender for SD Home Search. And today I wanted to talk to you about why FHA may be a good loan option for you. There's lots of people I've worked with recently that didn't even think they could buy and we looked at FHA and that fit perfectly for them and they were able to buy the home that they really liked. So real quick, just wanna talk about a couple of advantages. Big advantages to FHA is you can get a lower FICO score. So FHA only requires a minimum three and a half percent down up to $649,750 and up to a million dollars if you're buying four units. So three and a half percent down, that money can kind of come from anywhere. Um, so we do allow lower FICO scores and that can be a big advantage with conventional. You, if you have a lower FICO score, your interest rate goes up. With FHA, it does not. So if your FICO score is like 640-ish, you're getting the same interest rate you would get if it was 700. So for those lower rate, so for the lower FICO scores, you're definitely gonna get a lower rate. The other advantage is we can have a higher debt ratio. So that means you're gonna qualify for more with FHA than you will with conventional. And the big advantage, the one reason I really like FHA is you're gonna be able to get into a property with a major credit problem uh, only two or three years behind you. So what's a major credit problem? That would be bankruptcy, short sale, and foreclosure. So if you've had a bankruptcy, you can buy again with FHA only after two years. If you had a chapter 13 bankruptcy where you paid everybody back, you can buy right away as soon as the, uh, the bankruptcy has been discharged. For short sales and foreclosures, it's three years. So once your for short, sorry, once your foreclosure or short sale has been behind you three years, you can buy again, absolutely. Um, that's a big advantage. You're also gonna be able to get a lower interest rate than you would with conventional. Another thing that, F that I like about FHA is if you have recently gone self-employed or you have a little side gig that you're doing that's self-employment, we really only need one year of tax returns to show that income. A lot of conventional lenders are looking for two years. And there's no charge, uh, there's no additional interest rate charge for condos. With conventional financing, unless you're putting 25% down, your interest rate's gonna be higher on a condo than it is on a single family home. With FHA, the interest rate is the same. So you still can get in with three and a half percent down. You can have a 55% back end debt ratio. You can have a bankruptcy foreclosure in the last, uh, after, la after three years, and uh, you can still get FHA and you can still buy a home. So there's a couple little disadvantages. Let's talk about those two. I think the definitely the benefits outweigh it. So with FHA, there's two PMIs. There's the monthly PMI you pay every month, and the PMI is the same regardless of your FICO score. So that also saves you money on a over a conventional fin finance loan. Um, so you have two PMIs. You have a monthly PMI, and you also have an upfront PMI. The upfront PMI is a little expensive, but you know what? It gets you into the house. And if you can get into your home now, and a year from now you have 20% equity, and you can refi out of that and get rid of all of that PMI, that's still a big advantage to you over not buying something or taking conventional where you're gonna have a higher interest rate and you're gonna have PMI anyway. Um, so that's a little bit of a disadvantage. The other thing is you can only use it to do owner-occupied primary residence. So you can't buy a rental, can't buy a second home with it. You really have to be living there, which is most of the people I deal with anyway. And the um, other thing that's a little, bit of, a little bit of an issue with FHA is the condo project has to be FHA approved. And there's not as many condo projects FHA approved as there are just that you can buy with conventional financing. So FHA is working on that, but for the time being, you might be a little limited in the condo projects. That said, the condo projects that are FHA approved um, are usually the nicer projects that have a higher owner occupancy ratio that's, that's a better place for you to live anyway. Um, so if you're needing, uh, if condos are something you're looking at, then just connect with me. My contact information is going to be up here or down here, depending on how you're seeing this video. And I can get you that link. I can send you specific zip codes, or I can just give you the website and you can, it's easy to navigate and you can figure that out. So if you are interested in buying a home and you want to have the smallest down payment, you want to have the lowest fight if you have the lowest FICO score, but you still want the best interest rate and a low PMI 
and qualify for more money than you would normally, then FHA is a really good loan option for you. You do not have to be a first time home buyer. So uh, connect with me and let's look at your specific situation and see if FHA is going to be a nice lending product for you that helps you get into a home. Thank you so much for your time and thanks for listening and hope to see you soon. Bye.